सहना बबतु सहनाओ भुनक्तु सह वीर करवा वह तेजस्वीनावधी तमस्तु माँ विद्विषा वह ओम शांति 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 ही हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम वसुदेवसुतम देव कंस चाणूर मर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगदुरु कृष्ण वंदे जगदुरु ओके सो वी डेड द वन ऑफ द हैवी ड्यूटी वर्सेज एवरीबडी रिमेंबर्स लास्ट टाइम वर्स थर्डी विच वॉज द जिस्ट ऑफ द कर्म योगा and um, basically it it said that, you know that word dharma chetasa we went so much in detail with it that uh, you know keep the dharma chetasa uh, in adhyatma chetasa sorry adhyatma chetasa meaning mind centered on the self and then free from hope and egoism was past and present you don't think about while doing karma and also uh, in the present moment when present moment not have us uh, anxiety feverish anxiety and then he told arjun to go ahead and fight because that was his karma and he's telling us go and do your karma that way so he gave the whole mechanism of of uh, karma yoga so now uh, the question might come that since he's talking to arjun is this meant just for arjun because some people might think oh it was 5000 years ago and this is only valid for arjun so in the next verse he is uh, kind of telling that it is for everybody very categorically he's he's saying it so he arjun is just a medium to make, give the message so that's what it is so uh, the next verse next two verses are uh, one of them will say you know um this for everybody and this is what happens when you do this and if you don't do it then what happens so he he is so firm on telling us that this karma yoga is the path that he also has another verse telling you that if you don't believe in it what can happen and it is just like a it's not a, a kind of what our krishna bhagwan is saying you have to believe him it's a law uh just like we have gravitational law so this is a psychological law adhyatmic law you can just look at it that way so whether you believe it or not the law still uh, prevails if somebody says i don't believe in um you know gravity gravitational law it's going to still affect him whether he believes it or not so so that's what that's what you have to keep in in mind so with that let's go to verse 31 if you have bhagavad gita just open verse 31 of chapter 3 i'm going to chant ye me matam idam nityam anutishthanti manavah shraddha vanto na suyantah mujyante te pi karma bhih so let's see the words what it has ye is those who me is my matam is teaching so hindi mein word hai na uska kya mat hai that's how it is so here krishna bhagwan actually saying my, my matam my opinion idam this nityam uh, constantly this is a very loaded word he is saying that if you want to benefit from this you have to do this constantly so not a part time job to, uh, spirituality it's like in every aspect you have to do it, do this anutishthanti is another very important word here says practice so tishthanti is to be established anutishthanti means superbly established so you have intellectual conviction say ekdam to koi cheez ko hamara bahut intellectual conviction hota hai then that's the only time we actually do it if we don't believe in it we'll very quickly drop it so so he is saying that anutishthanti is a one that you firmly establish and practice manavaha so these are manavaha means men entire human beings 
Shraddha Vantaha. Now this, we have hashed it out very much in detail what Shraddha is. Shraddha is much deeper than, and I see Niluji shaking her head, so that's great because it's, it's a word that you cannot translate in English. Word translation, when you say just faith, it's much deeper, the Shraddha word. So just remember all that. And the next word is also very important. Anasuyantaha, not cavilling. So everybody's heard of this uh, Ansuyaji, right? Ansuyaji karke ek, uh, uh, ek Maharishi ki wife. Um, I don't remember unke husband kaun the. So um, anyway, where this word has come from? So suyant is like finding faults. Koi achhi bhi chiz hogi na, khoj khoj ke usme se fault nikalna. Jabardasti. Just because you know you want to shoot it down and you don't want to believe. Usko suyante bolte. It's not like uh, I have a, some cl a very genuine doubt and I'm asking out of, you know, uh, to clear my doubt. It's not that. Suyante is kisi kisi ki wo negative mein habit hoti hai. Wo ek kahawat hai. Does that mean uh, splitting hairs? Yes, you can say that. That's a good word too. Splitting hairs. Or nitpicking. Nitpicking for the purpose of because I don't believe in it. So I'm just trying to convince myself and everybody around me this is a bogus, you know. So so you can, that's a good word. So Machi me hmm? to take out bones from the fish. <laughs> <laughs> See, everybody's got some, some uh, phrase for it. So I think no, you guys got it. <laughs> our childhood, are, we are taught to question everything. Question is fine. There's no, if you have a genuine doubt by all means, but uh, suyante is, you know, Unnecessarily, but uh, like in Mumbai, we say, Bekar me usko kurachna, like you know, unnecessarily, only dal ke, you know, like take out the fault, take out the fault. That's what it is. So, there's a difference. So, we have to understand the difference because in, in, um, in Vedanta, questioning is a very important thing. In fact, uh, in chapter four, it's going to come that how to gain this knowledge is. You know, uh, having the humility, but asking question to your guru, right? Right. So you have we have to understand the difference between this word and and the questioning. This right. is unnecessarily finding finding right. fault. It's something like you have the entire Bhagavad Gita, and it is so fantastic. Usme se khoj khoj ke ek verse nikalega koi, aur fir bolega, oh Krishna Bhagwan ne aisa bola. Oh, jo 699 verses hai, usko nahi dekha. Or ye bhi uska matlab brahmi hai. Matlab he cannot understand these words, but he's saying, oh, the Krishna Bhagavan said that, you know, women, women are inferior to men. Or <laughs> something like that. I'm giving an example. Or Ramayana mein bhi karte hain log. You know, wo ek wala, wo dhol wala jo hai na, usko le le ke itne charche hoenge, itne charche. That's what is suyante. So anu suyante means not finding faults. Okay, so just remember that word. Muchyante are freed. They means, uh, sorry, uh, te is they. Api is also. Karma bhi is from action. So what he's saying over here basically is, it, firstly it is, it is for all the men. Means all men means, don't say just men, huh? men, women, human beings. Uh, people who constantly practice this teaching after being established in it, with full faith, without cavilling, without unnecessarily filing faults, they will be freed from action. Means when they say freed from action, now it is at akarma mode they will go. They will, the actions, will, they, because what did we learn before? The actions are performed by the prakriti. So then you become the witness and you become the medium through which God does his work. So, so that is a gist. Now, uh, let's go uh, a little bit more detail, like, you know, like some of the Swamis bring out very interesting points. So he, they said ki the word he uses manavaha. Manava word comes from man, mananashil, like a person who, who has a capacity to think and discriminate. Because the animals, they are programmed to just lead a particular life. You know, you cannot change their um, prakriti, you cannot change it. Humans are the only one, they are uh, capable of manan shilta, that's why they're called, the word mana came from man, because their, ma their mind is much more advanced. So um, that's the word mana. 
and now what he's saying is that if you don't trust the wo these words of Krishna Bhagwan, because Krishna Bhagwan gave a extremely exhaustive um, definition of karma yoga. He told you all the pros and cons. He told you it can take you to the ultimate and all that. So after listening to all of that, if you don't believe in that, uh, and you keep criticizing it unnecessarily. And as far as, you know, criticizing, uh, this person said, I mean, this, this Swami said, gave a very good point. He said that, Ek paper le lo, safed paper. Usme ek chota sa kala dot lagao. Aur phir logon ko dikhao. Ki isme kya dikhai deta hai? Hum log kya bolenge adhikter? Black dot. <laughs> but he's saying, Oh, jo white paper itna bada hai, wo nahi dekha. <laughs> you know? So, fall finding ka wo bata rahe the. And you know, sometimes I also feel ki even in the world we do that. किसी ने इतने बड़े 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 काम किए होंगे फैंटास्टिक यू नो और एक बेचारे ने गलती कर दी ना वो गया काम से मीडिया उसके पीछे पड़ जाएगी सब कुछ एंड पीपल जस्ट फॉरगेट कि वो भी ह्यूमन बीइंग है हो सकती है उसे गलती देन यू लूज ऑल द गुड थिंग्स दैट वन पर्सन हैज डन यू नो बिल क्लिंटन वाज द गुड एग्जांपल आई मीन या यू कैन यू नो हु एवरीबॉडी इज माय माइंड माइट हैव सर्टेन एग्जांपल्स सो यू नो you can just i'm just trying to bring a point because if we start a political discussion here we'll never go in spiritual stuff so everybody can think of their own example so we should it gives us a, a a point to think that if somebody has done something good and we can benefit then don't look at that person's fault you know that's what is is telling you um and then um even some people will say you know ye duniya ko dekh lo hum log kitna fault nikalte hain duniya mein you know it's 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 like saying when bhagwan was uh, creating or manifesting this world mujhe wa hona chahiye tha main batata kya kya karna chahiye means just think of our ego at that point you know or sometime when, when people are ha having heated political discussion so uh, you know sometime i'll always joke after an hour of you know men just going back and forth i said acha sara problem solve kar diya duniya ka because everybody thinks that if they were the president they can do such a great job but we know that's not true you know the challenge is always there so basically what we are trying to say is that when we are studying shastras that's why they say have a shraddha in shastras because in the world there are always going to be negative and positive and the whole the, the way this swami explained was so nice he said the whole entire cosmos is made up of the three gunas so there're going to be always situation where uh something negative might happen in fact krishna bhagwan says in bhagavad gita and i think it's going to come in the next chapter uh, or somewhere it's going to come one of the shlokas that every karma has some negative aspect to it because it it is born out of desire so and the example he gives is that if there is a fire no matter how clean the the fuel is thoda dhua to hoga hi so we have to remember that that you know uh, if we really want to find fault in something we are 100% will find it so it's better to drop it if overall you think this is a good thing you know and for as far as shastra goes uh, you know millions of people have validated it over you know so many millions of whatever years or thousands of years so we just have to have a shraddha in it you know so um basically he is just saying that that get out of this this habit of finding flaws because if you are in that mode you won't get anything out of it that's what he's saying okay um so now what kind of shraddha you want to have in this karma yoga so if you if you have shraddha then you will start doing the action in that mode and if you if you don't have shraddha then you will say oh yeah everybody says you know karma yoga se to progress hoti hai maine to karma yoga itna kiya mujhe to kuch progress nahi hui you know and and wo, that swami said agar unko pucho acha uh, kab kiya tumne karma yoga aaj maine shuru kiya kitna time kiya 2 ghante ke liye kiya so you know so you can you can be in a hurry this is like a lifelong process that you have to get into this mode and then you will see the progress so i thought he you brought that good point that we should not just give up you know uh, just like that so 
what Krishna Bhagwan is saying that that if you follow my teaching, then you will reach the final goal already through Karma Yoga. And we have already seen that if you do the Karma Yoga in the right mode, it is it is like a meditation. You know, there's no difference in if you do in a complete Karma Yoga mode because it, you go in the Karma mode. So now what is uh, over here when he said a Karma mode, so just kind of let's try to understand what it is from a different angle because different Swamis bring different angle. So he was saying that we learned that everything is done by Prakriti, but certain actions are we automatically, we are, we have a karma mode in it. And that is something like a breathing. Okay, Vandana, you have to mute yourself. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. So, um, like breathing. He said that, you know, we cannot live without breathing, but breathing happens automatically. Prakriti is doing it. Nobody has told us, Hey, now you start, make sure you breathe every day, right? No, but nothing. Digestion happens automatically. They will come, khana khao, jada khana khao, thus, thus ke khao, kuch bhi karlo. Body somehow takes care of it and it's a very complicated process. And then it, it just happens automatically. Prakriti is doing it. So those, those kind of actions, we have no problem in understanding the automatic mode that Prakriti is doing it. But... Whenever there is some other kind of action which we do with the hands or with the mind or with the senses, immediately the doership comes to I am doing it, I am doing it. And, and Krishna Bhagavan would say, no, Buddha, you are not doing it, Prakriti is doing it. And Prakriti is a Shakti of, of uh, Bhagavan. You know, when they say Maya, boldo, Prakriti, boldo, it is the power of God. So God is doing it. And that's why even Arjun ko said that you know, do chinta mat kar, like later on in chapter 11 when, when Vishwarup Darshan hua, these, I'm killing these men, no matter what. You just be the instrument, you just hold the bow and arrow, I'm fighting this war. So that doership is gone. So then what becomes our role is, is a witness. You become the witness. Just like with the breathing and, and digestion and all, we are just mere witness. Same thing, he's telling you to do all the karmas in the same mode. That's what it means. You know, when you say, karmo se chhut jayega tu. And then the other point uh, that Swami brought was that uh, efficiency in work and our ego. What is a relationship? So, jitna bada ego hoega na, utna kam efficiency hoegi. So, it is a, it is an inverse relationship. So, so jitna kam ego hoega, utna acha kam hoega. Or wala no ego, perfect work. So that's why all these great swamis and all you know whatever they do it has such a great impact nice impact on the, on the world because they don't do it with it with the uh, ego and one more point he said about you know like kisi ka jise sar, jise meri surgery hui, huh? so, when people get too disturbed and oh i'm so much in pain so they don't go sleeping uh eight best healing hoti hai, jab the men don't interfere Human beings don't interfere, then the nature knows how to heal you. But the reason we don't get healed, because kuch na kuch hum usme garbar karte rehte hain. You know, process mein baadha bante rehte hain, humara own mind. So that was a very good example. So, um, so now this is what, what this verse is saying, basically. So we can read Swamiji's commentary, but anybody has a question? Comment, I want to add a point on, on this particular uh, verse that whatever, whatever I said. Hmm, Vandana. I can't hear you. First, unmute. So, with those messages, we should not have any ego in order to do perfect work then how sometimes we make comments or something that cause us not to do or have some defects in our work? I'm not sure I understand your question. Maybe you want to rephrase it. So what, okay. is, what is the question uh, that, that about the ego that you think, you think, do you think that ego is necessary to do the work? Is that what you're asking? No. 
No, not so, at all. Uh, you, so how in reality one can bring about that, yes, in order I need to be have zero ego so I can do perfect work. How so that's the journey that we took. How, because the verse which told you that, hey, you are not doing anything Prakriti is doing. And you are actually that Brahman. You are that, that uh, Paramatma. You are, the, you are the soul. You are not your body. Body is a covering. But right. if body start thinking, I'm doing it, I'm so great. And, and then I, we talked about that. What is ego is your past memories are ego. Is that I have done this, I have done that. And then once you find out that how much was your role, we'll be ashamed to say that I have done this because there were hundreds of people involved in your achievements. But for some reason, you want to take the credit. So there are various ways of looking at ego. And from spiritually, you look at the ego as, you know, like I'm separate from this whole world. It's me against this world, but you are part of this only. You are part of this whole. So then the ego is gone. It's like a, so, a wave and an ocean. Wave is nothing but a slight disturbance in the ocean. But if the wave start thinking I'm, I'm so great, it, it, it emerged from the ocean, it played for a while and it went back to the ocean. So all those things, when we think about, then we don't have our ego. And to me, the simplest thing is that our achievements, we are, we are extremely small part of it. You know, without other people's help and without so many people working and as a team and everything and without consciousness, you are nothing anyway. It's like the computer without electricity cannot function no matter how great it is. So all that, does that make sense? Yeah. So these are the things you contemplate upon. Hmm. Yeah. But one thing I can explain that hmm. when you do an Akarn board, you don't take the initiative, the whole universe around you takes the initiative. So that work comes to you because of that. So then you are just performing it without any, uh, whatever the earlier ways was, is dedicate to God or whatever you want to do. But uh, you are not initiating it. I know it's very hard to explain. I know, I think Joe has experienced it. So that's why he can, he can say all of us have not experienced it. But Joe is here to actually say that is true. Because, you know, one of the examples I want to give is sometimes, you know, like uh, people, uh, people do great work, okay? For example, somebody is a writer, okay? And they, they do write this fantastic poem or some fantastic writing that, you know, becomes like a big sensation in the world. And if you go and ask that person after a couple of years, they'll say, you know, even I'm surprised I wrote that. When I look at my own book, I say, did I write this? It just came through you, <laughs> you know? Also uh, also, it's not like you will have it all the time. Like I cannot do that now, but True. at the period I went through, how I could tell was, let's say I take my uh, wire, you know, for putting in the ear and it's all jumbled up. So I was able to, without thinking, just open it up and it will clear it. I can't do that anymore. You have to figure out how to take it out. So there's a difference. And in that mode, you know, you're, you're not doing it. It's the universe taking over and make you do it. I know it's very hard to believe, but unless it happens to you, then you can know. So if the higher intelligence wants to get some work done by you, it will be done. That's what, and you know, the, the, all these, if you read the biography of all these uh, great uh, saint and sages, you will see, I believe uh, there are SRF people over here. I believe it was Yogananda who, when he embarked his journey to come to America, he, he was not very proficient in English. And he was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? I'm, I'm going to America. And he, he prayed to his guru and all of a sudden he could speak <laughs> in, in, in English. Uh, why why, why uh, Yoganan? Uh, we have one person amongst us who didn't know English and how she learned it, she explained it to us. Oh, Kamla so, ji, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, true, true, true. So, so there are certain things that, you know, uh, happens if you just become the right instrument. So what, what the Bhagavad Gita or, or the Shastra teach you, you just purify your mind, surrender to God, 
all the great work will be done through you. That's right. what he's saying, basically. Yes. So any other question? Shall we read? Yeah, Kamla ji, you have I some? have hmm. <coughs> Go ahead. I fully understand concept and I believe in it too. When you say fully you know, understand, are you talking about karma yoga? What, which concept? Karma yoga. Oh, okay. um, this concept hmm. that, you know, nature is doing it, God is doing it, you are just an instrument. But then why we have these like um, so many things like we praise people, we start these unko um, inam dete hain, itne bade bade functions organize karte hain. When we do all these, we are boosting up the ego of a person so See, that they can work wait, with wait, more the, energy. Worst, you are, the ego will be boosted if I want to get boosted or not. That ego is something very personal. So what you are talking about of vihavarik behavior. Vihavarik means transactional behavior. So we are talking about internal so, journey. So, okay. I, I know. Yeah, but uh, when it applies to regular work, we are trying to control our ego, right? We are, not, uh, we are trying to annihilate the ego, true. Because see, every, this, this journey that we are taking over here, not everybody gets connected to this journey. And Bhagwan is going to say that, that, you know, there are people who work for ego all the time. But then he's just saying the result is going to be disastrous. You will devolve in the spiritual thing. You will get more anxious. You will get more upset. You will get more. So, so you see, Bhagavad Gita and, and all the Shastras, they never force anybody to do anything. They are telling you, if you work in this mode, this is going to be the result. If you work in that uh, X mode or versus Y, the two different results are coming. Now you choose what you want. If you want to work for the ego, for by all means do. But then, then the result now is going to be good. And then when you say, when, when we praise other people, when we are praising, actually it is our humility when we praise us. If you are doing it genuinely. You see what I'm saying? You know, and the person I'm, who I'm is... Still, hmm? I'm still confused about the role of ego in our life because I have... Simple example, I'm not a good writer. I don't write poems or anything much. But then I was made in charge of Mahila Kavya Manch and I wrote my first poem. I wrote in college time something, but that time I wrote my first poem and because I, I was made in charge, so I have to, for, I had to force myself to write more. Were you and enjoying writing it or was it something like you found a big chore to do it? Like encourage people to write. <laughs> I don't no, don't mix up. Uh, don't to... mix those things. See, the thing is, with, what you have to do is no, 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 when I'm, we talk about no, ego, I'm... ego is a separation of me with this universe and God. That's all ego is. But, but you know, like, let me just try to, because... I struggle with this ego thing day by day and I don't understand that how to how to separate it because to go to the highest achievements if the ego is high the people who have very high ego they are very good achievers no I don't believe that at all no, I think, not uh, at all not I at think all. you are separating ego from uh, connecting yourself to what you achieved there's a difference so I would recommend you uh, listen to the talk by Sadhguru on memories. So when you go into your intelligence level of memory and do the work, you are separated from the ego when you are doing that work. That's why you are able to do that work so perfectly. But so long as you are at the lower level doing the work and all the time thinking, oh, how I good I did, that's when the ego is attached to it. Okay, let me give a so give a give an example from the Puranas. Maybe everybody will understand. When we say Ravan and Ram, okay, they say Ram had no ego. Ravan is working from ego. Yes, he achieved great things, but he had a horrible fall also. So what you are saying, Kamla ji, it's true. You could achieve lot of things in the world by ego, but spiritually, it's a disaster. So if, yes. if you want to just go and show off to the world, get all the, you know, but what I have experienced personally, and I don't know, maybe other people can say, 
is when you talk when you go to somebody who has really achieved fantastic stuff and you go sit with them they are the humblest people they will give credit to the rest of the world and say and you know very they are very spiritual people and even great scientists are like that upar se lagega because other people unko chadha rahe hain ye kar rahe hain wo kar rahe hain but if you actually go and sit next to them and talk to them you will get a complete different picture that's my personal experience you know and you know other people can say so in our day to day life when the child goes to first grade we we start encouraging them so what part of the our being we are um emphasizing what part like we we want to give them um, um some kind of encouragement oh you did a very good job then we send some notes we do something we choose first second third so what what are we i'm trying to understand what part of the body is working there when we at each level people need recognition so by giving them recognition aren't we feeding their ego yeah we What we actually do a lot of wrong things we we if you, if you are feeding their if you want to encourage them there's nothing wrong but at the same time you have to teach them uh to be kind to everybody and then you have to teach them spiritual stuff at a very early age and then they will have the balance but if you just keep saying oh by hook or crook you got to win this competition and everybody else can go to hell you you are teaching them wrong things i'm sorry to say so so he, you know you can be tell them to be successful in the world but you know like th- that one of the famous thing that was going around on the internet what th- these people who were like uh, disabled and they have the what the olympics and and somebody who had who couldn't make it the whole team helped them to <laughs> walk and everybody cheered and they said you know this is the way to do it you know and we all it touched everybody's heart you know so it's it's fine to do competition in the worldly sense but don't mix the worldly stuff with the spiritual stuff this is a internal journey we are talking about and uh, we don't need to equate it to the to the outside world you know outside world you can do whatever but we are talking about our own internal journey and that's where we need to focus to dissolve the ego for ourselves and then when once we understand this journey for ourselves then we will understand this journey the entire journey of everybody but this is a very very uh, subjective thing you know so so that's why i keep telling you in this class because that's how we were taught don't worry about the rest of the world what happens outside and why we do this and all we are, it's not all about that it's about where i want to go you know so because there is no end of the arguments for the outside world because there are every varieties there there are self realized people and there are completely the biggest fattest ego people are there too you know no it's not it's not understanding understand the role of ego ego has no role actually the... ego is just a false idea that i'm separate uh, ego is a, a delusion ego is called you know maya bol do delusion bol do uska koi astitva hai hi nahi aur humko lag raha hai ki hai that's called ego actually this um, definition of ego is false self promotion Okay. Just, just do a little bit of thinking because you know otherwise we won't move forward. We can, we can take this discussion yeah, to yeah. our discussion time, for sure. So, But Kamalaji, I think there is a difference between acknowledging somebody, encouraging somebody, and flattening their ego or pumping their ego. These are three totally, totally different things. Even in sports, you are acknowledging his achievement. You are encouraging them. but when you give them gifts that's not to boost their ego it's just to encourage them so there is a line between encouragement acknowledgement no. and ego no encouragement acknowledgement and so what part of the body is being affected with this encouragement that is up Because to you we are, we are study that's that's an individual no, but that thing. is making you the, the applause is making you do better the applause is making you feel good about what you have done the But what, when what is that ego comes into it, there's something harmful. Be not no, but what part of the body? Okay, I'll tell you what, Kamla Ji. Why don't you? Why don't you uh, study a little bit? If I have certain verses of Bhagavad Gita, I'll send you. Because and you you do your little bit of mananam chintam on your own, 
and if other people can share some uh, you know insight into ego because we won't be able to solve this issue this is a very deep issue because ego is very deep so I thought we have to study deep and we have to understand it deep but for right now okay. just think about it this way when i feel i'm yeah. separate from from the universe and god then my ego gets worse the more i get connected to the to the universe that and the god that we are less that's very clear yeah. and acceptable i know that but yeah okay and when once on. you once you get more and more connected to the higher self your actions will automatically become less egoistic so so you don't have to make any effort there i can i can understand what she is asking because i had the same question when krishna bhagwan was telling arjun ke your kirti badhegi and everybody will he was boosting his ego ke fight no wait so, wait wait but there is i have a quite problem there first he told me him the highest knowledge right okay everybody remember that very clearly if right. you don't understand that is better to okay fine ego se ladna hai tujhe to to ja ke lad because agar nahi ladega na to log bhagoda bolenge tere ko right. and then everybody will but he didn't tell him right away yeah jo do you agree jo no he, but he did tell him <laughs> no no he did not tell him right away first he told him the highest knowledge yeah. then Good. slowly slowly abhi kisi bacche ko nahi samajh mein aa raha hai kuch तो हम लोग क्या करते हैं वी कम डाउन स्टूप टू इज लेवल लिटल बेट यू नो वो किसी को सिगरेट की आदत पड़ गई है समझो हमने अब खराब है मत छोड़ छोड़ दे छोड़ दे नहीं छोड़ेगा अच्छा बाबा पीना ही है ना तो एक कम पी यू नो मे डू इट लेस डोंट बी डू दैट यू नो दिस इज अंड ऑफ अ बैड एग्जाम्पल बट आई एम जस्ट सेंग दैटिंग दीगो ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन एंड दैट इज वट कृष्ण भगवान डेड टू अर्जुन एट वन टाइम ई सेट If you don't do this, then people will तुम्हारे नाम पे थू थू करेंगे ठीक है तो अगर अगर तुमको अध्यात्म की बातें नहीं समझ में आ रही हैं तो by all means ego because even even karma yoga Kamla ji I don't know whether you remember this Krishna Bhagwan said if you have if you have very selfish in your action then start with little less selfishness suddenly तुम meditation में नहीं बैठ सकते then then make your action little less selfish start your journey and then selfless karte 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 then you will slide into it so that's true i mean if somebody's ego is very very hard usko suddenly bologe drop kar de to wo nahi kar payega but it is a slow journey so the jitna adhyatma hum padhte jayenge so what what you trying to do kamla ji is you trying to do outside world and inside world together what krishna bhagwan says is once you start doing your internal journey and purifying your mind outside will be taken care of automatically you will know what to do you will know what to say your work will become glorious so just don't worry about that outside world but anyway so let's move forward now let's read who who wants to read now anybody volunteer great neelu ji padhiye neelu you have to undo unmute but i apologize sorry those men who constantly practice this teaching of mind full of faith and without cavilling they too are free from actions it is clearly brought out here that the above technique can bless us not by mere study not by mere study of it but only when it has been properly practiced in life the word matam is matam Sanskrit, it's not matam <laughs> फिलोसफी और स्पिरिचुअलिटी इज यूनिवर्सल and therefore the same everywhere however 
religions differ from prophet to prophet because there are many different opinions entertained by these different masters regarding the best manner by which their particular generation could be guided towards the final experience of the eternal factor okay now this is very the significant of uh, one second I, i want to just uh, mention over here this is very significant because what uh, he's saying swami ji that the basic philosophy is the same it's just different prophets and uh, saints and sages according to the historical perspective give you different remedies to reach over there okay that is a very very important to know and even you know all these jhagda people do between the religion if you see somebody is high in spirituality chai wo muslim hoga hindu hoga christian hoga jew hoga they will connect perfectly well they are not going to have any problem it is when we don't understand it that's when all this hangama happens so so very important and then you know like i was thinking about christians jo log deluded christians hote hain na wo log aake kya bolenge you don't believe in jesus you go to hell right actually what they should say is if you don't uh, believe in what jesus says you will go to hell and that's a valid statement think about it because whatever jesus is saying same thing krishna is saying same thing buddha is saying par wo log deluded ho jate hain ki bhai एक जीजस प्रॉफिट है उसी की बात सुन लो अगर अगर वो दूसरे जाके रिलीजन को पढ़ ले और देखे तो उनको पता चलेगा कि सब सेम ही बोल रहे हैं एंड आई हैव अ थ्रिल दृष्टांत व्हिच आई लाइक पर्सनली आई लाइक वेरी मच सो इट सीम्स दैट देयर वाज वन बुद्धिस्ट मॉन्क यू नो ही वाज ही वाज वॉकिंग द स्ट्रीट्स ऑफ यूरोप एंड ही एंडेड अप इन अ चर्च सो ही इज ही जस्ट सैट देयर एंड देन ही देयर वाज अ वो सर्मन चल रहा था सो द प्रीस्ट वाज सेइंग समथिंग अबाउट बाइबल एंड ऑल दैट and this uh, uh, you know monk ekdam bhav bhi bor ho gaya and then he started crying so so the guy next to him said why are you crying so he said my buddha is talking that's why i'm crying because usko wo buddha sun raha tha usme se because that's what it is so so we, if you understand at the core of it the all religions are saying the same thing so it's just you know the methods could be different depending on the time place and what the person needs okay go ahead sure the opinion of christ is christ is christianity and it is followed by the christians the opinion of muhammad is dis- declared in the quran and those who follow them are the muhammadans thus religions are different while the spiritual truth experienced by everyone and pointed out by every master is one and the same the vedika truth declared by in the philosophy of the vedanta remains unchanged and unchallenged here in the discourse of karma yoga krishna now is explaining his opinion how this technique can bless the generation there may be a doubt in the reader's mind that this opinion can be of use only to arjuna as gita was particularly given out to arjuna on the mahabharata battlefield to deny this misunderstanding krishna declares that all men who follow this shall reach the noblest developments the importance lies in that they must take to the practice of it and not a mere study of the teaching so it it's pretty simple right that the 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 principle is the same and it, this is meant for everybody and you don't have to be a hindu or a christian or a whoever anybody can follow this and but the main thing is khali intellectually samajh se kuch bhi nahi hone wala that's what he's saying you have to actually practice and it's the same thing in the worldly thing okay i want to learn driving and i i go and learn you know how to do the steering if i never get behind the wheels <laughs> it's never going to happen that same thing over here in the in the karma yoga also so whatever principles of karma yoga are we have to experiment it every day and get better at it you know hmm. one ought not to live through life as a mere beast of burden doing its daily routine and sweating under the driver's whip work only touches the muscles it can smoothen out the ugly wrinkles in our character 
and add a glow of health and vitality to our inner personality only when we are only when we bring the inner equipments of our heart and head into the work which our hands and legs perform in the outer world this is accomplished by pursuing the karma yoga advised earlier with full faith shraddha and without cavilling anusuyanta anusuyanta because that word remember anusuya i was talking about so the the thing is that follow the karma yoga with full faith so you know this is what even even for you kamla ji sometimes you know it's possible that we nothing everything doesn't sink together and we are only at chapter 3 right now and arjun had, had the, that's why arjun and us are the kind of similar situation krishna bhagwan ne to usko jo bhi main principles the na wo already chapter 2 mein sab bata diya usko teeno marg bata diye you know karma yoga gyan yoga bhakti yoga sab kuch obviously not everything sunk into him just like we are not there yet and then the same principles they were they opened up in the more further uh, chapters because arjuna had doubts and questions and and then krishna bhagwan also elaborated elaborated to the extent and then in chapter 